Hey, it's Miss Cope with the Sample 2.6 Mastery Check presentation. I'm going to show you how this works. So, I read the story Spider the Artist by Nettie Akorafor. And this story is of a woman whose only job is playing, or her only joy is playing her guitar which attracts a zombie, a robot that looks like a mechanical spider that protects the oil pipeline from humans. The woman names this kind version of a zombie Udide, who creates her own instrument and music that is so beautiful it makes everyone happy and allows the narrator to conceive a baby. After the narrator's husband discovers Udide and a breach in the pipeline, he goes to collect oil. While there, all of the spiders converge on the humans, but Udide protects the narrator from being burnt up with the others, and she survives, pregnant and worried how she will take care of her baby. The story is by Nnedi Okorafor, who was born in 1974. Her parents are from Nigeria, but she was born in Ohio, grew up in Illinois, and attended college in Michigan. She's a Nigerian-American writer of fantasy and science fiction uh, for both children and adults. She wrote several novels as well as comics for Marvel, including Black Panther, Long Live the King, and Wakanda Forever. She lives in Phoenix, Arizona with her family. The passage that I want to read to you um, is from part three of the story on page 29. I named my zombie Udide Okwanka. In my language, it means spider the artist. According to legend, Udide Okwanka is the supreme artist and she lives underground where she takes fragments of things and changes them into something else. She can even weave spirits from straw. I chose that passage because it has the title of the story in it, Spider the Artist, and it also shows a good example of African futurism because this title, the name of the robot is taken from traditional mythology from uh, Nigeria, but it's used to name this very futuristic AI spider robot zombie. That leads me to the theme in the story, which is technology. The story is about uh, the good and the bad of the technology that humans create. The technology is the AI robots, the zombies, and in the end, they kill hundreds, maybe thousands of humans. And so that technology is disastrous. At the same time, one of those robots, Udide, creates things and not only creates music so beautiful that the narrator is more joyful and her abusive husband is more joyful and this allows for her to conceive a baby um, but also she creates um, humans because that baby that was created is going to be the next generation and Udide had a hand in creation and so it's an interesting um, contrast the destructiveness of technology and the constructiveness of technology. Um, I really liked the story, um, but it makes me want to read what happens next. Um, I could relate to the narrator because she's going through some pretty traumatic stuff and it made me really sympathize with her. Um, it seemed pretty realistic, too, even though it was in a very different place than what I know. Um, I felt like I, I believed everything that was going on. It felt very real to me. Um, 
But yeah, I really want to read what happens next. And I want to find out how this narrator is going to survive, what this baby is going to be like, and how Udide might continue to help and protect her. Thank you. Good luck as you do yours.